Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. The lost rings of Saturn return, an aging moon visits two planets, and Virgo's brightest star. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. Next week, an aging, waning crescent moon will slowly shrink. And as it does so, we'll pay a visit to the prettiest ring planet whose lost rings are now returning. Plus, the brightest star of the constellation Virgo and the brightest planet of them all, which will soon disappear from easy view. Let me show you. Okay, we've got our sky set up for Thursday morning, November 12th, which some say is the beginning of Indian summer, about 30 minutes before sunrise facing east, where you will see an exquisite 25-day-old crescent moon. And just off to its left, the planet whose lost rings have now returned, our old friend Saturn. Now, the reason I say its lost rings have now returned is because twice in Saturn's 30-year orbit about the Sun, about every 15 years, our Earth and Saturn line up in such a way that we see its rings from an edge on position, at which time they completely disappear from view through most telescopes for a few nights. But then as both planets keep moving and changing their distance and aspect to one another, we start seeing more and more of one or the other side of Saturn's rings. Now, the rings completely disappeared in September. Before September, we were looking at the bottom or southern side of Saturn's rings for several years. But now, we are just beginning a several year, ever expanding view of looking at the top side or northern side of Saturn's rings. And we will see more and more of them as time goes by. Now, Without Saturn's rings, Saturn is only 75,000 miles wide. At its rings, however, and it's actually twice as wide as Jupiter from one edge to the other, 176,000 miles wide. But they are only 30 feet thick. And that's why they can disappear from view when we see them edge on. Wow! Now, on Friday morning, November 13th, a slightly skinnier moon will be well past Saturn and on its way to the brightest star in Virgo the Virgin, Spica, which may be hard to see in twilight. But if you wait for 24 hours more, you can use the moon to find it, because on Saturday the 14th, an even skinnier moon will be almost beside it. Finally, on Sunday morning the 15th, one of the skinniest moons you'll ever see, if you have a clear flat horizon, will be just to the side of also horizon-hugging brightest planet of them all, Venus, which will soon disappear from sight. Venus is, of course, much smaller than Saturn, only 8,000 miles wide, the same size as our Earth. But compared to Spica, Venus and Saturn are puny. In fact, Spica is eight times wider than our own million-mile-wide Sun and is a much hotter star, burning with a fierceness 23,000 times our sun's light intensity. So, there you have it. A chance to use an ancient waning crescent moon to find two planets and a wonderful star. Thursday the 12th, the moon visits Saturn. On Friday the 13th, between Saturn and Spica, Saturday the 14th, almost next to Spica, and on Sunday the 15th, hugging the horizon with dazzling Venus. Keep looking up! Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95.